morning and thank you for tuning in in uh, today's episode of That's Right, I Said It. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a few headlines that I've seen on the news recently. And it's September 20th, 2010. There's a story about a lady named Sarah Schrard, I believe it's pronounced. Her and a couple of her friends were captured in Iran after hiking in Iraq crossed the border by mistake. Uh, you know, I, I kind of see where Ackman, I, I need a job, is concerned about why in the hell you guys decided to hike in Iraq. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great places you can hike. A lot of them that are considered free countries. We have a lot of great places you guys can hike. Hey, stay out of places like Iraq when it comes to hiking. You know, I would like to know why you and your friends chose Iraq to hike in. I'm sure there's other people here, uh, Americans that would like to know, and people all over the world, why are you guys hiking in Iraq? You know, hey, next time you get on, please let us know. We're curious. You know, uh, we know there must be some kind of thrill factor in hiking in dangerous places. So, you know, let us know how all that works out. Another thing I like to talk about is Sarah Palin and her Tea Party movement in support of different candidates and how we need to get back to wholesome uh, wholesome uh, goals and actions in our country. Uh, our founding fathers, you know, set us up in certain ways with morals and things like that. Uh, Sarah Palin uh, recently supported a lady named, I think it's Christina O'Donnell. Uh, Miss O'Donnell, unfortunately, has a background in witchcraft. I mean, wow. Uh, you're actually supporting people that claim to be witches and dating witches and or warlocks or whatever. I mean, this story broke a day or two ago. Uh, Miss O'Donnell has yet to come on and, 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 and proclaim that she has forsaken those ways. You know, I know we as Americans, we have short memories. And we are very forgiving. Hey, we voted for Bill Clinton after he confessed to, you know, uh, using a little marijuana or smoking it. Or, you know, he didn't inhale, which was good. You know, we still voted for him. But, you know, I, I kind of like to see how this witchcraft thing plays out. You know, some things scare us. When we get scared, we quit supporting it most of the time. So let's see how that works for you, Sarah, if you run for president. I'd like to see how that would work out. You know, I know you've been making a lot of money with your public speaking. You've been saying a lot of things. People are excited about you. Uh, but, you know, hey, running for presidents, you're going to blow millions and millions of dollars, uh, especially if it's not successful. I'd like to see how that play out as well. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk about is, you know, how we as American classify heroes. <clears throat> you know, if I'm, if I'm in a a car accident and I'm thrown out of the car and my child is still in the car and I go rescue my child, you know, does that make me a hero? There was a guy recently, it was on uh, Lester, shared it on the Today Show, a guy was talking to his wife, she collapsed in the bathroom, Becky, thank God Becky's fine, she's got kids, she's got a husband, he rushed in uh, finally and, and helped resuscitate her and, and keep her alive until the professional paramedics got there and he um, I mean they just rant and raised how wonderful he was not to give up on his wife man I mean really if you don't give up on your wife for you know five minutes or thirty minutes or an hour you know it, it is, is that such a great thing that we're proclaimed as heroes you know I I'd like to see Josh stick by his wife and not give up on her if she, you know, for some strange reason, gets strung out on crack for three years. And she's stealing money out of the family bank account and she's forsaking her kids. You know, I'd like to see him stand by her and nurse her back to health, back to the safety of the family and help her get back on her feet, get a job. You know, hey, man, that's somebody that stood by and didn't give up on his wife. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm glad he didn't give up on her for that 72 minutes. But, you know, really, is that is that what a hero is in our country today? Is, it, is a man that pays his child support on time, 
for the, the years that he's separated from them, is that a hero? You know, man, come on. Some things are just doing what you should do. Uh, is is your, you, you know, just doing the right thing. I mean, man, you know, again, I'm glad Becky's fine. Uh, and they got through that traumatic experience in their life. Hopefully they don't have to experience anything worse than that. You know, praise God for, for sparing her life. Last thing I'd like to talk about is this fish kill that's going on uh, mainly in the Gulf. I heard it happened yesterday or so along the East Coast somewhere. wasn't sure if it was Carolinas or Jersey Shores. I think it was Jersey Shores. And it's nature's way of, I, I guess, saying, hey, I got too many fish. I got to kill as many as I can and let's start this uh, uh, ecosystem over. Uh, the Gulf, of course, you know, we got oil on the bottom stopping oil and uh, oxygen from getting through and, and oil in the marshes causing problems with oxygen to the fish, I'm sure. And hey, you know, and we've stopped the fishermen from fishing for a few months, you know. Obviously, that's going to cause an overabundance of fish if they're still able to breed and things like that, you know. So, hey, I'm not a scientist, not a rocket scientist, but maybe, you know, until fishermen are able to go out there and bring all the fish in, you know, we're going to have, we're going to see weird natural things like that. Maybe the oil is clean, I don't know, you know, but I am a supporter of BP. They seem to be standing by their uh, accident and taking responsibility and trying to clean it up. You know, I'm telling people, hey, if you travel, buy BP gas. You know, I wouldn't say in the normal stream of day, go find a BP gas station and forsake using the one that you normally use. They need your support. But hey, when I took a trip or two since this BP uh, oil spill crisis, I bought BP gas. I want BP to be financially stable and able to clean up their mess. Hey, I don't want them going belly up and we have to clean up their mess. Let them do it. And on that same note, you know, as they're testing this food in the Gulf and making sure it's safe for consumption and hey, uh, I'm asking the government or whoever the powers that be, add a little dimension to the labeling. You know, let us know. That, hey, you're eating fish from the Gulf or shrimp from the Gulf. So if we want to support the Gulf in that manner, we can. On the other hand, if we want to stay clear of that possibly oil-tainted food, we'd have that opportunity too. I have a little example of what would be a good label. Uh, here we go. We have some fish here. It was caught out of waters. It seems to be fresh fish. And just on the label there, you can put a BP approved stamp, you know. Uh, BP little logo there and it says they're BP approved. Hey, let us know whether or not we're eating fish or shrimp from the Gulf. You know, I might want to buy my shrimp from, you know, the Alaska area for five or ten years. You know, I don't know. But hey, give us some of that disclaimer. We'd appreciate it. Other than that, I don't have anything important to say or anything to get off my chest. So I hope everyone has a blessed day and please continue to pray for me. Have a good day.